Well, hey there, everybody. It's Lori McLean. Welcome to another episode of RA Raw. In today's episode, I'm going to be making some really exciting announcements. Plus, I'm going to be letting you know where I've been the last while and why I wasn't uploading a video of this. I have created a Teespring storefront where you can buy merchandise. Take a look. These, this is what I've created so far. All of these t-shirts and hoodies and sweatshirts are available for shipping anywhere, Europe, Canada, US, in multiple sizes and multiple colors. You know, some, some kind of fun stuff, like I say, this caution flare t-shirt. I, I think, you know, I always wanted a shirt that said that on it when I was, when I was going through a flare. I always thought, wouldn't it be fantastic if I could just wear a shirt that told people, like, caution, I'm having a flare. So I created it. Now for the month of February until February 29th, you will receive 10% off of your order by including the code RAW10 at checkout. Now, if you would prefer, there's also a link below that you can click on and it will automatically apply that discount. So head on over to Teespring, take a look at the storefront and let me know what you think. Second announcement is that I'll be dropping another video every week. Each Tuesday, you will find a video called Two Minute Tips, where I share with you just short little two minute tips on things that I've adapted in my world to make life a little easier. Some of you have asked for hacks, so this is where you're gonna find things like that, is in those two minute tip videos. The first one drops next week on February 11th, so be sure to check that out as well. So as many of you know, last week I was unable to upload a video, and that was because I had been fighting a cold on day seven of that cold, I ended up hauling my ass to the doctor and getting some help because I knew my body was getting too depleted, that there was no way that I could kick this on my own and that I needed some help. Folks, that was day seven. And honestly, I probably knew by about day five that I was gonna need some help, but was crossing my fingers and hope that it wasn't, hoping that it wasn't the case, that my body would rally back. But that is, this is how quickly something that appears like a regular cold can turn into a monster. By the time I went to the doctor on day seven, I had an ear infection and bronchitis and required um, a fairly heavy duty antibiotics to kick it. Now, I finished up my last dosage of antibiotics today, I'm really hoping that it won't come back. But as a lot of you probably know, sometimes because of our depleted immune systems, it can take a couple of rounds of antibiotics to completely kick something from your system. Bronchitis seems to be cleared up. I'm not coughing like I was. Um, my ear feels really good, except it's still plugged. So I'm hoping that in time that will open up, but um, yeah, there's a good chance that I'm probably gonna have to go back to the doctor and get something for that as well. Now, of course, during that time, I was not taking my Humira. Um, I've missed a couple of doses of Humira now because it's been about a month that I've been sick altogether. And I also delayed and have not taken my methotrexate because I really just wanted my body to be able to fight as much as it could and to really not inhibit those antibiotics from working. Now, before you do anything though with your medication, be sure to talk to your rheumatologist. Mine has always made it clear what I need to do if I'm on antibiotics, and that is to delay or skip that Humira injection. And it's up to me as to whether or not I hold my methotrexate and don't do that. This time, because I knew this was a fairly aggressive virus, uh, a fairly aggressive infection, that I needed to give my body every chance that I could at fighting and recuperating from this. But before you skip anything, if you're not sure what to do, you need to talk to your rheumatologist. It is a must that if you do not feel better within a few days of coming down with something, and especially if you are spiking a fever at any time, you need to go to the doctor. Because a fever is often an indication that there is an infection brewing somewhere. So as I said, 
I've been taking care of myself. I've been resting. I have been taking in some really good fruits and vegetables, just giving myself that extra boost that is required. For years, I have seen that there is somewhat of a debate over whether or not to take immune boosters if you are on immunosuppressants and if you have rheumatoid arthritis. I'm gonna share with you what I do. So when I am coming down with a cold, when I'm not feeling great, when I know there's something, I will begin taking vitamin C just to give my immune system a bit of a boost and to help it out. The way I see it is this. If I take vitamin C and my RA flares, at least that's something that I know how to deal with. That is not anything new to me. Dealing with achy joints, stiffness, swelling, I know what to do. I can deal with that. No, I do not do this all the time. I do it when I know I've got something. Because I'm in remission, I don't feel the, the effects of vitamin C when I take it just in a short dose like that. I imagine if I were to stay on it and take it every day for 365 days a year, that I might, that I might notice that my joints become more inflamed. I like to give my immune system that boost to fight off and to rally against whatever might be brewing. And within five days, I already had bronchitis and an ear infection from what really was a simple cold virus. But when you're on immunosuppressants, the chance of a secondary infection is increased that much more. At the end of the day, you need to decide what's best for you. So if you don't like to take vitamin C, if you don't like to take things that will boost your immune system during that time, be sure, be sure, be sure, be sure to take extra care of yourself while you're sick. Get in lots of fluids, of course, that's a given. Rest as needed. Now, one thing that I often will advise against, if you have a cold, do not just lay in bed because that's when things can happen like pneumonia. So sit up. The other thing that I remember to do is to stay somewhat active. No, I was not going for, you know, three, four mile walks, but I was still making sure that I was up and moving around the house as much as I could. And these are just things that I have learned from my 40 years with rheumatoid arthritis, from my experience of, you know, being sick and being on immunosuppressants. But if you're armed with knowledge, if you are aware of your body and what feels right and what feels wrong, then you are that much further ahead of it. So that's everything. That's this week's video. I hope you have enjoyed it. I hope you've learned something and I hope that you will tune in next week for another episode. Be sure, as I said, to tune in on Tuesday for that new video, Two Minute Tips. I'll be dropping it on February 11th. And as I mentioned, head on over to Teespring and check out that storefront. The link is in the description below. I'm excited for you guys to see what I've been creating and what I've been coming up with. I'm constantly designing and coming up with new ideas and it's really fun for me. And I hope you like what you find. Everybody take care and I'll see you next week. Bye for now.